so I'm walking over an active volcano facing every challenge that Mother Nature could throw at me from the, uh, the high winds in the area to the heavy gases to, of course, the, the heat from that volcano, as well as the fact that it is the longest and the highest walk that I've ever attempted. So it's actually taller than One World Trade Center uh, and the spire at the top of it uh, that's located here in New York City being the tallest skyscraper in the city. This walk is about 1,800 feet long, a uh, third of a mile. It will probably take me about 35, 30 to 35 minutes to make that crossing, and, and that really depends on Mother Nature. If the gases are really bad, they become so thick that you actually can't see in front of you. So we, in fact, we have an infrared camera on set in order to film me because through the lens, they may not even be able to see me at times. Uh, so that will also, of course, play into the time that it takes for me to cross because I'll have to slow down and make adjustments as I'm crossing. You know, I've trained my whole life for distractions, for sure. It is part of it, as well as a wire that has moved and shook under my feet, of course, trained for high winds, etc. But the reality is, it's Mother Nature, and that's the one thing we can't control. So we train the best we can and prepare, but in the end, it's completely out of our control, which is what makes it such a thrilling and exciting and dangerous, I would dare say, the most dangerous stunt anyone's ever attempted, because again, it's what's out of our control. It's Mother Nature.